Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Apologetically Me. I'm Maggie. I'm Wanda. And we're here with possibly our last episode before the Christmas break. Um, we're going to be talking about Christmas plans, New Year's resolutions. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a fun segment. We'll see where this episode leads us. But before we get started, Wanda, tell the people what you got going on. So this week is my last week of work, and I've come to the conclusion that I am quite excited for it to be my last week of work. Um, it's been a stressful couple of weeks. It's going to be nice to take some time off. The only part I'm sad about is that I can't just collect and do nothing for the next three or four weeks um, because everyone's going on vacation on my team. So <laughs> there's no one going to be around so I can do whatever I wanted if I was still there and I could have just collected that money. Are they giving you like a goodbye of some sort? Like any fun treats? Not a treat necessarily, but we're playing Among Us. Um, so I like talked about it with my coworker, and I'll be like, oh, it'd be interesting to play Among Us. So I brought it up with my manager and she's like, yeah. And then she put in a three hour thing about like for Among Us for like, it's like what? the party thing, but the invite is three hours oh Among God. Us. And so today in stand up, I was like, so are we going to play Among Us for three hours? And like one of my coworkers is like, yes. What? Like, <laughs> jokingly. <laughs> but like, now I don't know. This is is this the treat you wanted as your goodbye? I mean, like, I've already collected all that I can collect in terms of Uber vouchers. Um, so, I don't know what else. Hmm. So, because you don't know what else, you want three hours of Among Us. Okay. <laughs> it was a suggestion that okay. I was like, oh, we're looking for something to do. We can do this. Because I was like... I. I don't want to go through the effort because my manager was like, you can look, go look on Airbnb experiences and pick an experience that we can all do. Oh. And I was like, that's a lot of effort. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I feel like that's uh, not as fun virtually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So three hours of Among Us. I mean, it's always fun because like the t like everyone's very talkative mm -hmm. in the game, and it's not like very awkward silences. No, that's good. So that's always nice. Yeah, but... I'm excited to be done. I finally finished off like a super, super busy few weeks. So I feel like I deserve this. Yay. It's bittersweet. It is. It truly is. Mm -hmm. I'm happy you'll get an official break, though. I mean, not really because you're still doing your PhD, but like it's, it's kind of a break. Yeah, I'm going to take probably the next. I was talking to you about this. Probably take the next couple of months off at least. Like, I'm not going to stop applying to jobs. Like, if I see something that I like, um, I'm still going to apply for it. But I need to take some time to kind of just, like, work on my PhD stuff and, like, kind of just, like, refocus and get back properly onto the path that I want to go down and get some things published. What about you? <laughs> What's your update? Um, my update is I got my eyebrows microbladed. Um. The, for the listeners, sorry, you can't see, but I am wearing a hat, which I usually don't. Um, my eyebrows are very dark. Um, let me share a sneak peek. Ready? Ah! <laughs> that was the two second sneak peek you get. Um, I mean, it's not that bad in person, but just when I saw myself in the camera, I was like, oh my God, why are they so dark? Um, yeah. I don't know if you've had a micro blading or semi like an eyebrow experience before, no? Sometime in high school, I remember, because your eyebrows were also dark. <laughs> <laughs> that was because I colored them in way too dark. Um, oh, I thought you got them done. No, I got, I just over, over, overdid my eyebrows. But I want to say that was the trend back then. It but was, yes, yeah. That is, I remember this girl had, like, almost duct tape eyebrows. Like, very black duct tape. And I saw them and I was like, whoa, this trend is going very extreme. And now I have, like... I've stalked that girl occasionally, and now I see her eyebrows have gotten thinner. So that's good. Um, but yeah, uh, my eyebrows were done. It was a little bit painful. It felt like, I guess because it was a tattoo thing, but um, it felt like little pins of needles going in my eyebrow. And I was like, ow, not fun. Um, I did not cry. I did not sneeze. Uh, I really like the shape, but um, yeah, it's just very dark, and I hope it peels soon. But I have to get them touched up. In like three weeks which i feel like is a lot but at least it's after the holidays 
so I won't look gross in any pictures. Nick took a picture of me as I came out of the shower because I was supposed to keep them dry and I put plastic wrap on my eyebrows to keep them dry. Um, and my mom was like, take a picture of her when she comes out of the bathroom. And I had already taken off my plastic wrap, but I was surprised. And the picture he took was very unflattering of me. I made him delete it. Yeah, that's my update. Tell the listeners why you got your eyebrows done. Oh, because my mom bullied me. Are you also a victim to parental bullying? Let us know. Call our hotline. She, like, my eyebrows were, like, okay. Like, I thought they were fine. I get them, like, threaded, like, once once every couple months. Like, they're in good shape. Uh, but I like them, like, a little bit thicker. And my mom is like, ew, no. She's, like, of the old school thing. She's like, thinner eyebrows are nice. And I was like, no, no way in hell am I getting that. And then she was like, but think about how, oh, and then we saw like our family friend, Christina, um, who ha- also got her eyebrows done. And this uh, it's a really nice shape. So my mom was like, you should do that too. It's like a good in between. Like it's not too thin, not too thick. And I was like, yeah, I like that. So then, yeah, my mom bullied me. And then, but like she paid for it because she was like, you know what, if they're bad, I'll pay for it. And if they're nice, then I told you so. So yeah. So, um, she likes them thinner, but in my, what I know about microblading, it makes her eyebrows thicker. Hmm. Well, we don't know. We don't know. I th- Well, the lady said my eyebrows, like, they look thick now, but they should go smaller when they fade. Like, they'll be less dark, and they will be a little bit thinner, but not by much. But it's... It, she follows the natural eyebrow shape that you already have. Like, she's not... Mm-hmm. She didn't, like, pluck around it such that it goes thinner, right? No, she just, like... Sh- so she then how would it, it be first? thinner? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm hoping. Like... I mean, the shape itself is fine. So if even if yeah. it didn't, like, go down, I'd be, like, not mad about it. Yeah. I mean, like, it were very dark on camera. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. and I don't think they were that, that dark in person. They are not. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm not saying the hat was the right way to go with it, but I think I would have spent some time looking at your eyebrows if they weren't. Yeah, me too. I would have not hat. paid attention to anything you said and just kept looking at myself and been like, oh my God, did I make a mistake? Is it time to sue my mother? What's your beef or crush of the week? So my crush of the week is these cookies that I have found by watching this vlogger she made them um they're these crumble cookies that are apparently very popular in with la vloggers right now and there's like this like sugar cookie type thing with like an almond extract in it with like this pink frosting and everything like a buttery almondy cookie i do recommend you making it um can you send me the recipe and also the link yes. and sorry not yeah. just, not just like picture <laughs> Oh, I mean, recipe the what? In picture. The, pic- the, the recipe, the website comes with a picture. I know, but I want to see yours because theirs could be photoshopped. Oh. I want the realistic, okay. unfiltered picture. Yeah. So I like, because I couldn't find neon pink food coloring. I did like green because I was like, oh, I'll make them again around Christmassy. But then I didn't put, like, I thought I put enough green in. But then when I actually put on the cookie, it was still very pale green. So like, it doesn't look like, I wish it was brighter. So, like, Mm -hmm. next time if I made them again, I think they'll, like, I'm going to make them brighter and, like, put more food coloring in. But I will send you a picture of what we have now. They are good warm, but they're also really good when you take them out of the fridge. Mm. That's that's when you know the cookie is really good, when you can eat them cold. Yeah. Yeah. I recommend cutting back on the sugar. (laughs) But other than that, yes. Mm. Very good recipe. I find that when I, like, tweak the sugar in the cookie recipes, they always, like, fall apart. So this is very impressive. Um, how much do you tweak it by? Like half. Oh, I, I, I don't think I ever go more than, like, I, I don't think I go more than 25% removal of sugar. Hmm. So, like, okay, okay. if there's 200 grams, I go, like, 150. Hmm. That was a secret all along. Yeah, because I, and I never tweak brown sugar. Like, if there's a recipe that has, like, brown sugar and white sugar, I'll touch the white sugar, but I'll never touch the brown sugar Oops. because of the molasses. <laughs> Whoopsie poopsie. 
because <laughs> like that's what like i in my mind it's like because the the brown sugar does something like the coloring mm. the whatever like i think it contributes more than the white sugar does this makes so much sense <laughs> why my cookies are always so ugly and they're like very mid it, i think that's like a thing it's like if you i think there's only a certain amount that you can tweak with sugar before it changes the recipe hmm. so, interesting yeah. interesting yeah. but yeah. we'll send you that recipe thanks I love the holidays because it's a, a big baking season. Like, I'm going to do a trial run of this other recipe I saw. Um, so if it's good, then I can bring it around to all the potlucks I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to try to make my own Biscoff spread today <laughs> or Whoa. sometime this week because I can't find any. You can find out like Walmart or not even like Longo's had it. No, Long Longos didn't have it. Metro didn't have it. Um, we don't have a Walmart that's super close to us, mm. and I am lazy to go there or order from there. It was seven dollars on Amazon, and I was like, "That's way too expensive." Yeah. So, I as I was looking up for places to buy, I saw a recipe for it, and I was like, "Oh, this oh. kind of looks interesting." So, hmm. oh, wait, are you doing cookies or a cheesecake for the Lotus Biscoff thing? I'm just going to make a spread for now, and I'm going to see where it goes, and then I'm going to make cinnamon rolls with it. Ooh, yum. Yeah. If it does, if it turns out well. If it doesn't <laughs> turn out well, then I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Toast. <laughs> yeah, that's good, too. Yeah. What, what about you? What's your beef or crush of the week? Hmm. Well, I had texted Wanda earlier because I had a lot of hatred in my heart. I had two beefs going on. One against my boyfriend and one against the beep. But I will go against, I will go with the beep in my apartment because Nick made me lunch. So. Oh, wow. So like before back. lunch, you're like. That's right. mm. <laughs> For context, um, he didn't buy spring mix at Costco. And I was very sad because spring mix is quite expensive in normal grocery stores. And it's like a pretty good deal at Costco. And he walked right by it and he didn't pick it up. My beef. I, he told me last night and I woke up and I was for some reason angrier this morning than I was last night. But um, I said I wouldn't, he wouldn't be my beef, but I still had to give context. Um, so my actual be beef is that there has been a small beep going off in my condo. Not in my condo, but I think it's like upstairs or downstairs or like somewhere around us. But like it's been going off like very quietly, but it's still enough that I can hear it. And we hear it before we go to bed. We wake up to this beep. And it's off now, but it still drives me nuts. It's been going on for the past, like, almost week now. We don't know where it's coming from. Are we going crazy? Who knows? I Your apartment seems to make a lot of noises. Our condo just has a lot of problems, I guess. Um, Is that because it's an older condo? I think so. Yeah, that might be it. And, like, we kind of want to move, but we also kind of, like, I hate change and, like, I don't like moving and stuff. So, yeah. If we see a good deal, then maybe. But for now, we're, like, we're probably going to stay for another year. I mean, like, it's a good location, but also, like, it seems to have a lot of the issues that the last place, like, Jordan and I stayed at was. It was very, um... A lot of con like a lot of renovations type mm -hmm. things so yeah i'm hoping it doesn't happen again next year but like who knows like for context we had to keep moving our cars we had to register for street parking but they wouldn't let us because we're our cars aren't registered to the city of toronto so we had to do this whole finessing thing we had to like empty our lockers put them in a temporary locker put it back in um they have like i guess every does every building have fire alarms every month um, I don't know if it's every month. It might be. Yeah, that one seems kind of like, oh. but it doesn't last very long. It lasts for like five minutes. Yeah, I still hate Oops. it. Um, I feel like there's other like annoying stuff, but yeah, anyway, it's yeah. just a lot. Mm -hmm. At least your water doesn't constantly get turned off. Oh, they sent an email saying keep your water, you keep your taps in the off position, but we ignored it or like we didn't see it. So I guess like we had the water on. But yeah, Damn. did you have water shut it shut down? Like I recently? told you, no, 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 not here. Oh, but like, like in at the, the past, old place, yeah, yeah, I remember that. And it was worse because it was like COVID times, and mm -hmm. I was like, I can't even go to like a Tim Hortons to pee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 
sorry for your loss. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's really, uh, are you looking at all? No. Okay. <laughs> it's because we're both busy with work, so. And it's like a busy time of year. I don't really want to, like, get into the hassle. Yes, that is fair. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, part of me wants to live, like, a bit closer downtown, but I'm also, like, eh, all my friends are, like, so far. Like, you're, like, more west. Probably, like, east. I'm so north. But, like, if you lived closer on the line of the subway, then it'd be a lot faster. I'm literally on the subway line. You're literally yeah, not even on the subway line. So I realized that I could take a bus that takes me like straight up to Yorkdale. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, go bus? No, it um, maybe. I don't know. Or it's TTC. like the. I don't know. I think it's the TTC. Oh. Because usually go says go. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how go works. <laughs> yeah. But I thought that was interesting because I was like, oh, like I never knew that. I never knew mm. it was like a straight down from Yorkdale. That's pretty convenient. And then I can just pick you up. It's not even yeah, that far. and I was like, hmm. yeah. I was like, could have had so many plans this week. <laughs> you should have been my beep this weekend. Honestly, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you so, can reverse it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not like going to reverse it, but I am going to shame you just a little bit, slightly. Um, So, Mern and I, like, I, because you said, oh, you should come to North York to try like the fried chicken <laughs> and get the churros and everything on like Thursday or Friday of last week. So I was like talking to Jordan about it. I was like, maybe we should go to North York on Sunday or something. They'll like, they might be home. Um, we can maybe get some shopping done at the same time. And he was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So uh, I messaged Maggie, uh, not being explicitly clear that I was like, I had plans necessarily to go see her, but I was like, hey, like we're thinking about going to Yorkdale um, this weekend. Are you free kind of thing? And she just like never responded for like the entire day until like 7 p.m. at night on Saturday. And then she was like, yeah, like that's interesting. I just got my eyebrows done um, <laughs> and I don't want to see anyone. So she never like explicitly responded to me, but she never uh, said no or yes either. <laughs> so then like Jordan kept asking. He was like, did they like did they did Maggie respond? Did Maggie respond? I'm like, no, not yet. And then um he's like, Did Maggie respond? I was like, Yeah, she but she talked about her eyebrows. And then I was like, Oh, okay. I guess I get now. She didn't say no, but it was the implied because she didn't want to see anyone because she had gotten her eyebrows done. Um, yeah, that was my bad. Uh I was very distracted. I think we were talking about a lot too and you said sunday and i was like oh good for you and then i didn't put like two and two together like oh she's asking me um but yeah Sunny. yeah i didn't want to i didn't want to like because you you didn't respond to it immediately you're just like oh cool so i was like okay i guess she doesn't want to hang out but that's fine <laughs> <laughs> like it was cool but also i was like oh wait i have to tell you this other thing yeah, so I got but because you said the other thing, I was like, "Oh, it imply it's an implied mm, no." A little bit, right? Yeah, and I Are we just two? did that. Yeah, maybe we're just not like. Should we be more straightforward with yeah. each other? Hang out Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Um. But wait. then it's like, ooh, I'm busy. <laughs> Are you busy Saturday? This Saturday? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Why? Well, I'm not going back home until the evening, probably, or Sunday. If you're available, then I will okay. for sure be available. And my eyebrows would hopefully have gotten darker. I mean, darker. I Sorry, lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Jet <that> black. <laughs> Ooh, so me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't um, that bad. I might. I, like, sometimes I see the graduation photos from grade 12 grad and i just look at my eyebrows and i just can't stop looking at my eyebrows because they're just so dark i think and... you only look at them because you're not used to seeing yourself with it like if you were to look at them now like they're not bad i still i, I can imagine in my head they're still very bad <laughs> so you're even right. before you went to grad you were like it looks great <laughs> Yeah, I, I literally, like, that period of my life, I was like, oh, my God, I'm doing my brows so well. Like, this is exactly what I wanted my brows. And then I look back to those pictures. And I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? I feel like you had the regret, like, very quickly because Sally had made, like, a picture of all of us, like, her thing. And then she, like, censored you out. And I was like, 
I messaged her and I was like, why'd you send to Wanda? That's weird. And then she was like, oh, Wanda does not like her eyebrows. And I feel like that was like a month afterwards. Um, sometimes when you just like see a picture of yourself for the first time, you're like, oh, is that mm. how other people see me? Mm. And then you are like, the bubble shatters and it's like, <laughs> I'm not perfect. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yes. Even mm. though my like mm-hmm. thing, oh, my one of my New Year's resolutions is to be easier on myself. I still mm. will forever regret those eyebrows. Mm. I don't blame you. I don't think they were bad. And I, I don't think your current eyebrows are bad. And I didn't think mm. your old eyebrows were bad. I really liked Thanks. your old eyebrows, actually. Thanks. I also liked my old eyebrows. My mom kept roasting me. My mom will just... My mom's New Year's resolution is to be easier on me. Not her. Is it? On me. No, that's my New Year's resolution oh. for my mom. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> that was, I was like, that's so nice of your mom. No, my mom would never do that. <laughs> Anyways, we'll touch we'll touch point again. We'll circle back on uh yeah. on the next plans. Okay. So moving on. What are your Christmas plans? What are your news resolutions? Share with us in the spirit of giving. Are you asking me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so wait, we we're just skipping over Christmas and we're moving on to New Year's? No, I said share with me your Christmas plans and New Year's resolutions. I'm so sorry. I caught the last bit. Though. Okay. Um, okay. What are my Christmas plans? My Christmas plans are probably doing something with Jordan's family. Um, uh, Jordan has some time off. I was looking at going to New York City again. Uh, not in the like, not during mm. Christmas, but like I've been watching a lot of New York City vlogs again, and I was like, frick, I want to go. <laughs> Wait, you literally just went like in the summer. And I need to tell you how, like, the tacos were so good. Yeah. Like, I want to go to, like, I want to go back to Soho. Like, it, it's just mostly food related, let's be honest. It's like, I just felt happier there. Yeah, I thought I go too. Yeah, like, it's not saying I don't feel happier here, but it's just like, and I have some, like, like American Express, like, travel credit things Ooh. where it's like, you can get, like, $200 off or, like, $100 Ooh. off. So I'm like, ugh, you know? Like, well, I just want to do it. If you want some travel companions, bring us with you. Would you go? If it's for like a weekend, yeah. Like oh, a for a weekend. weekend. Long weekend, yeah. Okay. The only long weekend would be like Boxing Day, and I don't think Family you want to fly. Day? <laughs> Wait, when are you oh, thinking like, of going? That is actually really interesting because I was thinking about going in February. Well, Family Day is open. Yeah, but that might be busier. Mm. Well. Keep us posted. Don't plan around us. Just keep us posted. Yeah, I don't try to plan around you anymore. Yeah. It's very hard. It is very hard. I'm very flaky. Yeah. Oh, family day is on the 20th. That's a Friday? No, sorry. Oh, it's a Monday. My bad, my bad. I was looking at January. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Um, But, so not really Christmassy plans, but like, New Year what plans. is that called? New Year maybe plans. Or like, I just want to, like, I just want to go somewhere. I don't know what it is. Like, it's fine here, but, like, I just feel like I'm in the mood for a vacation, even though I just got back from a vacation four months ago. Um, too long. Too long, yeah. Um, so, but other than that, uh, so Christmas, probably with Jordan's family for two days. We have friend miss, which we still need to confirm whether or not we're going to that. Um, Snaggy moved it to another city <laughs> at her home. Now we're like, this is a lot of effort, so. It's literally one train, isn't it? Yes, but then we have to, it's effort. It's like a 45 minute train versus like a It's still it's 45 just, minutes for you to get to someone else's house in Toronto. <laughs> it's like it's the thought, you know. Like it's just it feels like more effort. Like even though it probably takes about the same amount of time to get to you as it gets to Pravi, it feels like less effort to go to Pravi. Are you with me there? No. No, okay. <laughs> I mean, I see where you're coming from because it's like the same city, but it's like we all moved to Toronto and we all live like even further apart than before. Yeah. Um but it's just effort, but also it's like cuz we go like we have to take the train and then we have to get a ride from someone and like if a cat <laughs> cat won't be there. <clears throat> yeah. I, I cannot explain my thought process. Other than the fact that it feels like it's more effort. More cities you're crossing. Um, yeah. So it is a, it, it's a TBD. We'll try to make it, but we're not so sure yet. Um, but other than that, probably just playing some Maple Story. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
because we picked that up again. Um, I asked Jordan the other day, I was like, because we started playing yesterday, and I was like, did you ever think when you were playing MapleStory as a kid that you'd be, like, playing MapleStory with your girlfriend in, like, 10, 15 years later? And he's like, yes. I was like, really? It's kind of cute. But it's a weird thought to have, you know? Like, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't think about how I'm going to be playing a game in 15 years. But He's living his childhood dream. Yeah. At least now he's drinking doc- diet Dr. Pepper instead of like full fat Dr. Pepper, which is better for him in a way. Wow. He's growing up. Yeah. Yeah. Very, apparently he has a very specific memory of playing Mabel's story and drinking Dr. Pepper. Oh my. A lot of Dr. Pepper. Oh my. <laughs> Cute. So, those are my Christmas plans. What are yours? Um, well, we are heading up north to Nick's father's place from the 21st to 23rd. And then we have Christmas Eve dinner with Nick's mom's family. And then we have Christmas Day dinner with my family. And then Christmas lunch with my family friends. And then the 26th, we have another Boxing Day slash Christmas dinner with Nick's family. And then the 27th, we have Friendmas. And then the 28th, we have to hang out with Nick's friends. And then 29th. (laughs) uh, Well, his friend's coming in from Seattle, so they, like, play this whole day thing. And then the 29th. Sorry, I'm just looking at, like, a calendar. The 29th. Yeah, that's what it seems like you're doing. You're just, like, reading things off. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting how you can remember all of these things. Oh, I just have, like, a calendar open, but, like, I remember them all because I had to, like, double check with Nick so many times. Because I feel like mm-hmm. every year on Christmas, I mean, we've only been together for the past two Christmases, but I feel like it's just That's always been very hectic. Like, we've done a lot of driving back and forth between our cities. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be very busy. And this is your first, I mean, we're still on Christmas. I'll talk about it New Year's after. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, Christmas is quite busy, but... um. Well, we'll see how this goes. I feel like Christmas shopping gets harder and harder each year because me as an adult, I'm like, I want no one. I want everyone to get me nothing. Like, Mm -hmm. please don't buy me anything because I would just buy for myself and I know exactly what I want. Don't buy me anything. Don't waste your money or time. But I don't know if other people share the same sentiment because I'm wasting, not wasting, but I feel like there's so much time and money I have to put into it. And I'm like, Do you actually want this, though? Or, like, am I wasting my time here? I'm glad you've come around to the dark side. Yeah. I've become more cynical the older I get. I know. I don't think it's more cynical. I think it's more of just, like, the older you get, the more things that you can just buy for yourself. Yeah. I'm less... I don't know if I'm more or less materialistic, but it's definitely, like, I don't... Like, I value time now. Like, sorry, this is my rice cooker going off in the background. Oh, I was like, oh my <laughs> god, Meg, I can hear the beeping noise. <laughs> <laughs> my rice cooker's done. Um, Sorry. Anyway, it's not that I'm more or less materialistic. It's just I really value time and the time of others. And I want people to save their time by not getting me anything. Oh, that's a more mature um, explanation. Mine is, you're never going to get me something that I can't just get myself. (laughs) I mean, I really want a designer wallet for myself, but I would never ask anyone to buy that for me. Like, that's only something, like, outrageous I would buy for myself. Yeah, exactly. Like, the only things I think I'd ask for are things that I'm too lazy to go buy myself. Mm -hmm. Like, Nike doesn't have free shipping um, unless you pass, like, $200 or something. So I'm like, oh... I've been wanting Nike socks for a while, but like, so I asked for that for Christmas in the Secret Santa exchange because I was like, I'm too lazy to do this myself. It's cute because, you know, as a kid, like if you get socks for Christmas, you're like, what the fuck? What did I do this year? Why am I on the naughty list? And now you're like, I guess I got socks. Yeah, it literally, I am very happy to receive socks if it's the socks that I like very important caveat which is it's also good timing too because the socks that i normally wear to the gym they're starting to rip and i don't Mm. have another pair of those so i'm like ah this i really hope my secret santa got me those socks because (laughs) otherwise i have no socks (laughs) i mean that could be the surprise that jordan's mom has for for you that he wants i don't know (laughs) 
I don't know why, like, but because it's like, why would, like, wouldn't that just take away from what my secret Santa could potentially get for me? Yeah, your Jor- Jordan's mom's secret was that she's robbing Christmas from someone ah. else. Uh, the Grinch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah. Glad that we are back to sharing one brain cell. Yeah. I, I like thought I lost you there for a little bit this weekend, but I'm glad, I'm glad we're back. <laughs> we're, we're back on track. Yeah, yeah I'm taking so, this Friday off though, so we got time. Oh, I apparently they're gonna pack. They're gonna like take all my monitors and everything this Friday, so oh I got my. time to. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah. Um, was gonna. Was that it? Was that all you had for? Was there more for Christmas? You want Christmas more? Plan? Like that's enough well, for I'm, me. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'd be so drained if I was doing what you were doing for Christmas. I am drained. Like, at first, this is going to sound bad, but I already, like, told Nick, like, I can't go to your dad's. Like, it's too far. I have to work. I don't get vacation days. And then I haven't gone up for the past, like, two times he invited me, and I felt bad. And then they were like, hey, is Maggie working from home? Like, we have really fast internet up here. She can just work up here. And I was like, ooh, yeah, that's a good call, I guess. So I guess I can do that. Why don't you just say, like, oh, I have to, like, periodically go into the office because we're doing events and stuff? No, I feel like they would know I'm lying because it's so close to Christmas. Like, no one would want to do that. Um, this is going to sound bad, but a, I think a while ago I said something where it's, like, what I look for in a partner is someone who's not, like, super, super close with their family. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, not like they're super, super close, but... It's always the holidays that they go up. Yeah, but like Nick's gone up twice now. Twice without, without me. you. Yeah, without you, and it's like it's been like a few months. So you're right. We're gonna end it, it because is... of his daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I dare you to tell him that. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel for you. In terms of going there, I would just lie personally, um, but you are a better person than I. So, it's actually, no, season. I would get Jordan to lie for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the season of giving, I guess. So, are you going there for Christmas? Uh, just for the three days. It's a long time, but okay. Well, yeah, we're only sleeping there two nights, but yep. Fun walking one to the, yeah. Have fun walking to the bathroom in the cold. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> I can hold my pee for three days, right? <laughs> Ooh, if you get a bladder infection, I'm positive that Nick will not tell you to go back. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's a nice so. bathroom. It's just I wish there were more of it. Yeah, yeah fair. Like mm-hmm. I think that is a fair ask. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway. New Year's plans. This is the first time you're going to have New Year's Eve plans that you're free for New Year's Eve. Do you have anything planned, upcoming? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I, no one has asked me to do anything for New Year's. No one has talked about New Year's. So right now I have no plans and I'm fully okay with that. That's so funny because Nick was asking me, hey, do you guys have any New Year's Eve plans? Like we should do something. And I was like, yeah probably should no one has messaged me or said anything so i'm not gonna say anything either (laughs) yeah that's literally my thing it's like i have if nothing happens i have plans for just lying around and doing absolutely nothing um Mm -hmm. if someone does message with plans and it's something that i don't want to do i'm just gonna say no to it because this is the first year that i finally have a say on what i can do on new year's day and new year's eve and i am not going to waste it doing something that i don't want to do oh that's beautiful yeah, truly. It's like finally having bodily autonomy for two days. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, well, if you're free New Year's Eve, hit us up. I think, well, I'll still be working, but I can probably leave early from my mother. Yeah, but it's like also what to do. What what uh, New yeah. Year's is about drinking. I don't particularly want to go out to like a club or a bar or right. anything, but um, it feels weird just hanging out at someone's condo. Mm-hmm. Also same. I was originally being like, oh, I should get takeout or should go to a restaurant. But then I'd like, I remember what it was like 
on New Year's Eve, and I don't want to mm. be like the causer of the other side of that equation. So um, I'm just gonna wait a few days to get takeout. That sounds like that sounds pretty fun, actually. Getting oh wait, we should just hang out at someone's condo. We should get takeout, just play board games. I think that'd be cute. So like um, getting takeout on New Year's Eve is really hit or miss. Oh. Uh, because every single place is swamped. Oh, okay. I take it back. We will get stuff. Do what you said. Get stuff and just prepare it for New Year's Eve. Like that is fair. Cost- you can bring Costco stuff. Ooh, salad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why was that not my crush? Oh my god, why was that not my crush? Okay, retroactively erase everything else I said. said. <laughs> the Costco salad. <laughs> the kale salad. <laughs> Kale salad with cranberries and like pumpkin mm-hmm. seeds with a lemon poppy seed dressing. Uh, I think it's like Taylor Farms or Taylor mm-hmm. Green Farms or whatever. I've been had I've had that like for five days now. Oh my like, god! Not a but I've bought so many of those salads because like mm-hmm. they have them at the Longos next door for six bucks, and it feeds like both me and Jordan. I'm like, I love this. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy. That's so funny. I remember distinctively being in the same phase as you. Like I think it was like pre-COVID or something like that, or during COVID. Mm-hmm. But then I got sick of it, like it just flipped like a switch. And now I, I'm kind of sick of it, but um, I wish I could get it more. But it would just be me eating it because Nick does not like it. Oh, I'm so happy that Jordan likes it. I'm thinking about making the dressing myself. Hmm, that could be fun. And making it like yeah. less sweet. Yeah, I... But I actually like yeah. how sweet it is. <laughs> I do, I do too. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I was like, how do I say this? <laughs> like... I know it's like healthier probably to like not make it as sweet. Hmm. I had this conversation with Nick, so I'm having deja vu. It's like bread. Like, so he really likes this protein bread from Costco that I absolutely hate. And he was like, yeah, but now I can eat bread without being guilty. And I was like, I don't have to like feel guilty about everything I eat. Like, there's a reason why I'm eating that bread. I mean, I do enjoy protein bread as well. Ew. Not for the fact that, like, enjoy it in the sense. I, I do feel that way. I'm like, oh, I don't feel guilty while eating this. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes you just, like, it's something you just got to give, you know? Like, salad, it's already healthy. So, you like, you can, mm. you can have a little well, bit of sugar. I have, like, one slice of bread. So, I feel like that's okay. I don't have to give my bread up for protein bread. Yeah, I think for me, it's just more like, how do I get more protein into my diet kind of thing? So that's why I opt for protein bread. (sighs) Yeah, I guess that's good. I thought we could like roast them together. I can't believe you like protein bread too. I need to sometimes agree with him to like seem like a little bit more impartial. (laughs) Protein bread. It tastes like dog food. Um, I think you just have to, I've never tried the one from Costco, so I can't personally speak to that but like i feel like there's like protein breads out there that are actually like really good yeah maybe but yeah the one from costco is very dry you just you know if you want to save the money buy it in bulk you go to costco but it's really not that cheap it's like five bucks a like a a packet whatever it's called i didn't mean to do that (laughs) it's five bucks a bag like an individual bag sorry like, there's three how in many? a pack. That's really good. Oh, well. Let me tell you how much actual bread costs. <laughs> how much does actual bread cost? Well, it's like $2 if it's on sale. A pack, a, a pack of, like, normal dumpster is, like, 12 grain bread. But, like, quantity-wise. Oh, like... there's, like, way more with dumpsters than there is, like, the protein bread. The protein bread has, like, what, eight slices? Oh, so it'd be like, oh, okay. So even though there's three packs in the Costco one, it's five dollars. There's only like less. There's still less pieces yeah. than like. A so box. I think it's fifteen dollars oh. in total for that pack. But it's yeah, you only get twenty four slices. Is this really the stonks you want? That's expensive. Yeah, but I guess it's like so is chicken. If you want mm. more protein, yeah, chicken's very expensive. Yeah. Well, that is interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I have not been to Costco in a very long time. So anyway, our New Year's plans. We should do takeout together. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> Burst into a room like the freaking Kool-Aid man. Do you want to come in and and defend your bread? <laughs> it's, it's, it's nine slices for five dollars. Sorry, which is also he said it's but less than you said. 
<laughs> he said it's nine slices. Sorry. <laughs> but I just think it's so funny that he fucking burst into the room like a man to be like, were you talking about my bread? <laughs> the one thing he comes in to defend himself about. <laughs> I was like I heard something and I was like oh is that Jackie <laughs> yeah I thought he was gonna ask me something or like he didn't know I was filming but yeah that's, funny. yeah that's so funny anyways New Year's plans oh um we should do something and listeners you're welcome to join us too mm. Mm. maybe like we'll do like a live stream <laughs> and if we have it at Maggie's house then yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we can we can do that that'd be nice yeah. and low key yeah I don't know what I, I mean like after like after my friday i basically all have holidays there's no time yeah. where i'm not free <laughs> yeah so um yeah, maybe i'm just excited to be able to make some decisions for myself this year because i finally don't have to work i finally don't have to listen to people yell at me um and complain about how long their food's gonna take i don't have to pick up any foods and i'm just so happy i'm so happy for you <laughs> yeah. this is like it's like the first time i think in like 10 years wow yeah hmm. so it's monumental and my mom's happy about it too she's like not taking i don't know why she's not taking any time off this christmas but she's like i just want to save it so i don't have to go to work hmm. um she works from home wednesday thursday friday but she goes to the office monday tuesday so she's really trying to like pull back on when she goes into the office so she's like i'm just gonna take like every monday off instead of like taking a holiday break or whatever mm. um, but she usually does take the holiday break because she has to help out the store and stuff and now she doesn't have to do that this year which Yay. is wow yeah. good good for you both yeah really really just happy for us both mm -hmm. what's your dad gonna do no, I think he might. So he like kind of knows that, like in a way, knows the people that ha like bought the store. So he might like end up helping out in some way, just because it's going to be their first New Year's, and I don't think they're anywhere as prepared uh, as what to come um, on New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, and New Year's Day. So he might just help out there and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't. We're not again. We're not big Christmas people. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what about you? Well, I didn't have any New Year's plans, so that's why I had to quickly make one on the podcast with you to save face. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> JK, but yeah, so far, no plans. Um, I think Nick was proposing that we get our friends together to do something. But, um, oh, not proposing ring. Oh my god, that's so funny. I remember. I mean, the way that you said it. Yeah, I was like, well, I... No, I, I said something to my, my old manager before. I was like, well, I proposed this weekend that we... And then I, like, trailed off because I forgot I was going to say. My manager was like, you proposed to someone? And I was like, whoa, 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 no. And also, if it ever happened, I would not be the one proposing. That makes sense. Thanks. That's fully okay. Yeah. I mean, feminism and the girls can do anything they want. But also, mm -hmm. I want Nick to work for it. Oh my gosh. Would you not, would he, are you saying that he would not, like, only is he going to wait for you to say yes, knowing that you will say yes, will he then propose? Like, is that not what he's going to do? Yeah, we have to have the conversation first. And I know that I'll be the one to bring up the conversation. And I'll be like, hey, so like, when are you going to propose? Or like, hey, it's time to get married. You should propose to me soon. Do you really say that? No, I would not say that. <laughs> but I can see myself saying it. That's yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I I can see you saying it passive aggressively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it too. Um, what's your family doing? New Year's? Nothing. We're not a New Year's family. We work. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, don't be. I think it's okay. Yeah. I think it's. I think you're. You don't get as busy <laughs> on yeah. New Year's Eve. Yeah, we really don't. It's pretty dead. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Like, a lot of people used to tell me that there is a tradition to get Chinese food on New Year's Eve, and I don't I've know why. Mm -hmm. Because they think it's the only one open. Oh, that's a tradition. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I see. <that. laughs> but yeah, I've heard that too. Big tradition. I think, like, someone came into our store, and they were like, I would, use, I would like, get from you guys. Like, I didn't know you guys were open, but, like, my family's tradition is getting Chinese food. And yeah. I was like, well, well, good for you. 
<laughs> Thanks for telling me. <laughs> um, what are your New Year's resolutions? Oh, it's the same every year, but this time I'm gonna make it try and make it more sustainable. Well, I want to be healthier, um, and be more mindful of what I'm putting into my body because before I would like try to count calories and and stuff, but now I'm like, if I just look at the ingredients, the nutrition, what makes me feel good? Does this spark joy in me, or am I just eating it because I'm stressed out? And I'm still kind of like blurry with those lines where I'm like, I get stressed out and then I eat a lot. And even my mom, like I casually mentioned to her, I was like, yeah, I'm getting weight. And my mom was like, yeah, I can tell you're getting weight. And I was like, okay, mom, well, I didn't need you to pile on on that. That wasn't an invitation. Um, but yeah, I think um, same old, same old, be healthy, be kinder to myself. Um, and I wanted to learn something new. Mm, not learn something new, but I did want to volunteer. So We'll see. How about you? I have been watching like chess videos for some reason. So now I'm like, maybe I'll learn chess in the new year um, and try to get my rating up to 1000. Rating? There's a rating for chess? Yeah. So like apparently, how much do you know about chess? Uh, not that there are ratings, but I know how to play. Um, so like chess doc like chess in a whole has like this rating system where it's like as you like beat more players at like certain skills then your like rating goes up um and then like eventually this rating can go all the way to like grandmaster which is like the top tier chess players like in the world um and that's just the rating system i'm not going to get to grandmaster i am setting the bar very low for myself i might like learn like how to do certain chess moves like I, this is literally something that i thought of like 20 minutes before we started filming because i was like this sounds like something cool and fun to learn with all my free time um nerd okay <laughs> <laughs> well what could i have said that would, that would not lead you to this conclusion um yeah i mean it's good strategy i have a really yeah. funny story too okay go but i want you to finish your new year's plan so i'll share it afterwards or your new year's no, resolutions just, let's go Okay, um, so they're like we have a United Way campaign and like there's an event, it's called Quid Games, but you basically pay, play like three rounds of games with the best people, see who lasts, that kind of thing. So I didn't want to play because I was eating Cheetos. Um, so I got Nick to play for me. And first he played rock, paper, scissors, he won. He played tic-tac-toe, he won by a milestone. That was just like kind of funny, but um, and then last one, there was two people left. It was me and a senior manager of strategy. And it was Connect Four. And I think I'm like decent at Connect Four. But I was like, oh, Nick, you can play this because you, you've been winning so far. It's great. Um, so Nick tries to play his Connect Four moves against the senior manager of strategy. I'm just going to call him Dave. Um, so yeah, so Nick's playing against Dave. Nick is like, oh man, I got this guy cornered. But Dave pulls like a Uno reverse card and... You know, it's that, it's that thing, that final move where it's like, you could go anywhere, but Dave is going to win. So you could try to block that move, but then Dave's going to win the next round. Um, and then I think like partway through, like I like kicked Nick off because I was like, no, no, we're losing. And then, yeah, so then Dave was about to win. And then Nick grabbed the mouse and was like, hey, don't worry. We can do something so that Dave won't win. And it's they use this platform on Adobe where it's like the circles are there, but you can still like bend the shape of the circle. So Nick made the circle bigger into an oval and made it so big that it blocked Dave's final move. <laughs> so Dave could not go on that. Um, yeah, the chat was like exploding. They were like, whoa. And they were all, all like, LOLs. And I'm like, oh man, my manager is in this call. She's going to see this. Did I just embarrass myself? But I thought it was very funny. Um, and I said, good game to Dave. Um, yeah, Dave won in the end. But I thought that was truly the highlight and truly a game of strategy that I was like, I need to polish up my Connect 4 skills. I didn't know there was a strategy in Connect 4, and I didn't know you could beat someone very badly in Tic-Tac-Toe. Yeah, I guess she, like, didn't see that, like, she didn't see that we had already, like, a row coming. So she lost very quickly. <laughs> and like, the commentator was, like, kind of rude about it, too. He was like, okay, well, that was quick. I don't think we need to play two out of three because that was like a very quick round and i was like damn, Ugh. damn. spicy <laughs> anyway continue with your new year's resolutions give me one second okay 
sorry i just got a message that says hi wanda i'm doing your new offer as you sp as you speak can you provide me with your personal email address your phone number and your current address is this a scam on slack Wait, what? <laughs> Why is that? Slack has scams? uh Who is it from? This, per this talent acquisition partner. What? Wait, are they what? like a legit person? Uh, they messaged me on Slack. But so that means they have to be legit, right? Like, have you ever yeah. gotten... But my manager never said anything. Well, okay, so in the new year, I am now going back to work. <laughs> um, so like all those things about like I said I was going to learn chess, not going to be able to do that anymore. I had a whole list of other New Year's resolutions. I was going to go make a portfolio website. I was going to go learn like a new language. I was going to spend more time at the gym. I was going to do... Uh, like more cardio intensive stuff and like really like look at improving my cardiovascular fitness i was going to do chess none of that can't do any of that <laughs> just gonna work on my papers and going to work um i'm happy with the no chess part i feel like it'd be not that you'd be weird with chess but i just feel like it was a very interesting hobby you want to take up Everyone's like, you need more hobbies. I try to go learn a hobby and then I get fucking shame for it. <laughs> well, I think baking is a cool hobby. Yeah, but I'm already baking and stuff. Mm. Yeah. We can knit mm. together. Mm. Play board games together. That's not a hobby, though. Mm. I don't know at which point it becomes a hobby. Like, which time? What is it? When is it a pl like pastime and when is it a hobby? Like, that's what I kind of don't know. We've had this discussion so many times. I don't want to get yeah. back into it, but but I'm happy with your new plans. Sorry yeah. that you have to throw chess in the garbage, but throw in the oh, recycling you, bin. <laughs> you, use it. You, just, you just hated it since I brought it up. <laughs> um, for additional context, in the middle of the podcast, I got a f email that or a Slack message that I thought was a phishing email <laughs> or a phishing message um, about coming back to the company that I'm currently at in the new year. Um, so that kind of put a stop to all the plans that I had for the new year. And, you know, I don't have to be healthy anymore. I don't have to get smarter. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yay. So now I like like my plans for the week have even changed. Like I like originally I was going to go to the Eaton Center. Now I don't know. Like what if I just want to stay home and celebrate? I don't know. Like you know, it's just. Do that. Go call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, calling your mom will take up the whole night versus going to the yeah, center. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like scared because it's like if I call her, I'm going to be like Ooh, on the phone with her for a while. So, mm. yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. So those are my New Year's plans. My New Year's plans is now to get a job full time, finish Yay. my papers, and um, that's it. Well, I think because they pulled through on the getting your offer extended. I think they'll pull through on the full time, so. Yeah, it's truly, like, it's so, like, endearing to see my manager and my director fight so hard for me. Like, that is so endearing. Like, mm -hmm. I know it's also because they have such a massive workload for the new year that, like, there's no way that the three people currently there could even handle it. Um, but endearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's very sweet, like, that they're willing to go up to bat for yeah. interns for a, so sweet yeah for a month and a half mm -hmm. they've been like doing this behind the scenes yeah that means you've really proven yourself these past yeah. eight months i don't four, four. months wow mm -hmm. it feels like you've been there for so long i know right it truly does mm -hmm. yeah you've done so much so any any gifts that you want for christmas no okay that was helpful <laughs> i'm sure of you <laughs> Yeah, sorry for the uh, hectic end to our podcast. Uh, we did not expect this news, but, you know, Merry Christmas to everyone and Happy Holidays and enjoy the new year. And thank you for tuning in to another episode. Go in the meantime, like us on 
social media. Follow us as well, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Go like us and listen to us on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast. And join us again in the new year where I'll have even less time to edit this podcast. But I'll always make time for you guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.